Uh, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop. I'm gonna have to scan you with my x-ray gun, as our scanner is not currently working. <laughs> okay, x-ray gun? I don't think those exist, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Go ahead, man. Alright, you just stand really still, and I'm gonna just check you right quick, alright? Whoa, are you for real? Uh, uh okay. Is it supposed to be that loud? Yes, sir, that's just fine. Uh, is it normal that I can see my bones? Don't worry, sir, it's fine. All right, sir, we're all done. Uh -huh. Hey, do you smell pennies? I smell pennies. Okay, before I start off this tutorial, I want to thank Philip Gunter. Um, this entire tutorial was his idea. And he also provided the artwork for the skeleton. So, big, big shout out to him. Um, if you're one of my patrons, you'll be able to get this uh, work file. So you'll get the uh, skeleton itself. And if not, you'll have to recreate it yourself. But, you know, it's free. So, um, so to start off with this tutorial, I'm going to start off with my pop character. It's included with Moho 12. And if you have, um, if you don't have this character, you can create your own. Um, just go ahead and watch my character creator tutorial. Um, but once you have a, a regular character created, um, then you can create a skeleton for your second layer. Because basically what we're going to do is layer one character on top of the other. And then use masking to um, make this effect. So right now I have my character. He's walking, he's rigged. Um, if you go into the bones, you can see he's already got everything um, connected and whatnot. So all we have to do now is on the same rig, we're going to put this skeleton. Um, now I went ahead and made the skeleton all on one layer. You can make it in se separate layers just like the character. Um, you'll notice Poptugi has a whole bunch of, you know, there's a leg, um, arms, head, all that. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I wanted to keep the layers small. So I'm going to take this skeleton layer and just this artwork and I'm going to drag it into, or actually, I'm going to drag it underneath into um, my character, to the bone rigs. And it actually resized it, so I'm going to do a command A to select everything, hit T, and then I'm going to resize it to make sure it's the correct size and put it right over my character and try and line it up as best as I can. Um, and that looks pretty good. I'm just looking at the head. It's, I think the skeleton's a little bit small. So I'm gonna make it a tiny bit bigger. Just kind of tweak it. Um, and if you're making it this, your skeleton itself, it doesn't have to be a skeleton. You can make another character. You could do all kinds of stuff, um, a different type of x-ray. But I think I'm just kind of lining up where the joints are um, because I put this, I made the skeleton's um, portions uh, roughly the same size as my character. And it looks like the hands are matching up pretty good. Maybe a tiny bit bigger. And. I think that's pretty good. So really all we're going to do now is I'm going to go to the skeleton and I'm going to go ahead and hide the uh, actual character and then I'm just going to rig this character as I normally would. So I'm going to go into the bones and I'll hit B and I'm selecting the neck bone and I'm just going to select everything in the uh, head and bind it. Now because I put it in one layer, it's going to be a little bit trickier uh, to select everything that I need. So I need to uh, make sure that I'm holding shift down as I select areas. So like these teeth, I'm holding shift down and then just dragging over the teeth. Making sure I get all of those points. And I think I got them all in the head. So I'll go over to bind points 
and then bind points. And then I'm just going to check it really quick. I'll hit Z and I'm just moving that uh, bone just to make sure that the head's connected correctly. And then this is going to be the tricky part. Okay, so the torso, I'm going to go ahead and select the bone in the upper torso. And then I'm going to select um, this layer back here. It's uh, the shoulder blades, it's in the very back, and then the rib cage. I'm going to click in the shape there too. And try and make sure that I have all the shapes of the ribs selected. So I'm holding shift down again and just clicking on everything that I need. And I think I got everything. But let's check. Go ahead and hit bind points, bind points, then hit Z, and then we'll go ahead and move it. And let's if if we didn't grab everything, it would start uh, either pulling away or there's these bits right here that I'm missing. So I'm gonna hit G. Let's go ahead and hold shift down and select those little this part of the shoulder blade. I can grab that and this little bone here. And bind those again. Hit Z. Let's move it. Oh, I'm missing this piece and this piece. So, G. Let's go ahead and grab that. And this little bone right here. And bind points, bind points. And then hit Z. Then move the rib cage one more time. Okay, that looks good. Now, actually. We want the, to grab this part of the spine too, so with everything still selected and that upper uh, torso bone, let's go ahead and hit G and select uh, the top part of the spine, like that. So we're grabbing a lot of these points here, I'll hit bind points, and just because it's all part of one uh, art layer, let's go ahead and select that neck bone and then grab, hit G, and then select the spine points, holding shift down so we still have the head connected and bind those as well. And then let's see if we grabbed everything. I'll hit Z. It looks like it's grabbing most of the top part of that spine. And if we move the bottom one, it's grabbing everything almost oh see those points right there it didn't bind a few of the points so we need to go back hit G and with that bone selected now I gotta find those where were they Let me hit G okay I'm gonna have to move it again okay I th think So there's some points right here I couldn't see. So I'm holding shift down, grabbing those, and binding again, and testing, Z, hitting Z, and moving that over. Okay. And this is okay. The bottom spine, we're going to connect to this bone down there. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Hit B. We'll hit the bottom torso. And I'm going to grab... Hit G and then grab these points down here. Be careful you don't grab the rib points. Um, so this part's going to be a little tricky. And this is one of the reasons you would want to um, have your layer separated. Um, again, I just wanted to do this on one layer just so it's a uh, uh, lot less cluttered over in the layers. So I'm grabbing all of these spine points. And then when I can't gra grab points and I know that there's a shape, I'll gra uh, hit the uh, stroke itself. So if I click on the stroke, you can see it grabs a whole bunch of the points around the uh, shape. Or in the shape, it'll grab those too. So now... Oh, crap. Let's undo that. See, it grabbed the spine points all the way up here, so I'm not going to bind that right. Hold on. OK. 
Okay, we got the top. Good. Hit B. Select the bones here. We're going to have to do this um, maybe without clicking on the strokes. So I'm going to grab all of these points. Holding shift down. And grab these. really tricky. Let's go ahead and bind those. I know I'm missing some, but let me hit Z and see which ones. Okay, so that got most of them. Let's go down here. And this is a really good way, again, to test to see what points have bound. A lot of times if you're animating and you see something uh, kind of not moving, or sticking, it's just because you've missed some points. So, let's see, what do we got here? Looks like we're only missing a couple points. I know it looks really cluttered, but that's because the hand's there. So, let me hit B. Still have that uh, bone selected. I'll hit G, and then let's zoom in really close to see what we're missing. So I think... This point... I'm holding shift down and let's bind those and see if we got all of the spine now I'm hitting Z and moving it up oh, there's a missing this point right here G and this one and this one and bind points hit Z again testing it oh Got one more. Hit G. Hold shift down and then click on that one. Bind points. And it seems like it's a little tedious, but it's really not that bad. Um, now, if I hit Z, you can see as a the whole spine has been selected. If I go up and uh, move this bone, the spine's bending there, and the head's binding there. So. We have all of those bound. Now let's go to the arms. And these will be much easier. We'll hit B, select the upper uh, bone here. I'll hit G and just click on the bone itself and it's going to grab all the points in that shape. So we'll go ahead and bind those. Do the same for the lower arm. Hit B, select the bone, hit G. Now we're going to click inside the shape. There's actually, let me see if we got them all. Yeah, that's just one bone, so it's got all of that, and we'll bind those. And then the hands, I'll hit B, select the hand bone, hit G, and holding shift, I'm going to select all of the, the hand bones and all of the fingers. So I'm just clicking inside the shape. Um, right there points and at any time again go ahead and um, test it hit Z and then move the bones around so that did grab we got all of the arm bound correctly and the hands bound correctly so we'll do the other side I'll hit B select the bone and hit G hold shift down and select that upper arm and bind that I just have a habit of holding shift down just in case I need to sh select more. But we only need to do that once. And I'll hit B, select the uh, lower arm, G, select that bone, and find those points. And we'll do the hand. And this is where it would be easier if it was in different layers. Um, because then you could hide the, the spine and the pelvic bone. <clears throat> but I can still see the hand pretty easy. So I'm selecting the hand bone, hitting B, uh, then hitting G, holding shift down, and then just clicking on all the hand bones and the fingers again. Make sure I get the thumb. And I think I got everything. Let's bind that, 
and test it out. Hit Z. And yeah, that looks good too. So we got the arm and the upper body is all rigged. Good. And now let's do the uh, pelvic bone. So we'll hit B. And the waist bone is actually really high on my character. I probably should lower it, but we'll select that. I'll hit G. Then I'll go ahead and select these bones down here. Um, I think it's just those two. We'll bind it and see. Yep. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, the spine should be connected to the waist. So let's go ahead and hit B, select that waist bone. And then let's go ahead and select these... Uh, this part of the spine at the bottom. So I clicked on the stroke there. I don't want to grab any more up at the top. So I'm just making sure. Click on this stroke and this stroke. Nope. Undo. That clicking on that one made me select the entire spine, and I don't want to do that. So let's go back. Hit B. Hit G. We have the pelvic bones already. Um, selected. I'll select this shape here, and then I'm going to have to manually come in here and select these points here. And okay. And then bind those. And I'm just doing that so when we move the spine, it doesn't dis dislocate from the uh, the hip. So it, it looks a little bit weird, but I'd rather have it look like that than um, just fly out to the side. So I think that's pretty good. And let's finish off by doing the legs. I'll hit B, select the upper leg over here, hit G, click on the bone in the shape. Find those. Um, I think I need to select this too. Let's hit G, B, G. Let's go ahead and select that. And then do the bottom leg. I think the bottom leg is in two parts, so we'll hit B, G, hold shift down and select this other side, other side of the bone and even this little line here I'll bind that then hit B select the bone hit G select the foot holding shift down I'm gonna select the lines of the toes make sure we get everything hit uh, bind bind don't forget forget to test everything hit Z and I did not connect that bone. Uh, so let's go back. Hit B. I don't think I hit bind or something. Something went wrong. Select the bone. There it goes. Hit G. Hold uh, shift down and select both of those. Bind. Now hit Z. Make sure it... Okay. That worked, but... I missed a point somewhere. Is it the foot? Yeah, it's the bottom. So I'll hit B, G, and then that's the point I missed. So I'm holding shift down and selecting that and binding. And I'm sorry that I keep repeating <laughs> B, G, B, G, but it's, I just think it's important for you guys to know what I'm doing and how I'm connecting things and fixing them. Because a lot of you'll do that a lot where um, things aren't connecting properly or binding. So let's try. Let's just test it. I'm hitting Z, and that looks correct. Uh, legs look all bound. I hit B. Go up to the upper leg. Hit G. Click inside the bone, and that'll grab the shape. But then we also need to grab this line here and bind that. 
Grab this, hit B, grab this lower bone leg, hit G, select the bone, and there's two shapes here. So I'm going to bind both of those. And just to show you one more time, since we're at the last part, the uh, bottom foot, I'm going to hit B, select the bone, hit G, and then I'm intentionally going to miss a whole bunch of these points. So I'm going to select this and then this, uh, this line and bind them. And so I missed this part of the shape, I missed this one and this one. So when I hit Z and move it, all those things look broken. And I just wanted to leave this in because this happens a lot. Um, people get really frustrated when things aren't bound correctly, especially when point binding like this. Um, so, to correct, we'll hit B and select that again. It tells us what has been selected. I'll hit G, holding shift down so I can select the ones I missed. Come back in here, select those lines. And I think I got everything. So I'll bind those and test again. So it's really just about testing over and over. Oh, see, I did miss one. And an easy way to kind of detect where something is, especially when you have a lot of points like this, is to go ahead and move it on frame zero. You can move your bones only with Z. You can't do T uh, to transform. But you can see I can just hover over where I'm missing them and hit G, and it's going to snap back there. So I kind of get a reference to where what I'm missing. So I'll hit B again. And if I zoom in, you can see I'm missing that line right there. So I'm going to hit G and select that last line. And bind again. And I'll keep binding until I get everything rigged right. So the, the legs look bound. Correct. The hands look good. The uh, entire skeleton is now rigged. So... Because it's rigged, and I have that walk cycle on my character, if I turn my character back on, my character and the skeleton are going to do the exact same thing. So when I move my character, he's going to move. And now, um, to go ahead and make this look like uh, an x-ray, we're going to do um, a couple things here. So they're in the same layer. We have our character uh, bones. Let me just rename this. Character and bones. So we have our skeleton layer, then we have our character. It's really complex, got a lot of layers and stuff. And we need to go ahead and let's go ahead and add a new vector layer and we'll call this um, x-ray and then let's just go ahead and draw a shape really quick doesn't matter what it is I'll do a square like that and it has a fill in it and we're gonna have to do some masking this is a little tricky. I'm going to have to try and... <laughs> I might fumble through this myself. So pop 2 g is always going to be visible. So let's go ahead and double click our, our bone layer and click masking. And let's click... Uh, hide all. And apply. And let's double click our main character and click in masking and say don't mask this layer so I'm gonna apply that so our character is not masked now it's you can't tell because uh, it doesn't render properly but see he's not hidden when I do a command R and then I'll double click x-ray masking and we'll say add to mask and apply and then double click the skeleton layer and we want that mask, so it is mask this layer and apply. So basically the x-ray layer is going to be our beam of light or it can be, um, you know, an airport screening thing like Total Recall or uh, let's go back to frame zero. And let's resize this. 
So anywhere the mask is, if I do a command R, what's happening is that our character is rigged the same way, so he's always going to be in the same position. And then wherever the X-ray is, is going to show our character, uh, or our skeleton. And um, wherever it's not is going to be our regular character. So let's go ahead and do a couple things to change this to make it look more X-ray-like. So we can go ahead and let's change the color first. So I'll select the X-ray. We'll do like green or maybe blue. And then also, let's double click the X-ray layer and under opacity, instead of having it 100%, we want to see a little bit of our character, um, the Pop Toogie character. So let's go ahead and do like, I don't know, 75 and apply. So now, if I render this, you can see that we can see the skeleton and we can also see um, our character in the background, which is really cool. So, if I, oops, let's hide this. Let's go back to the x-ray. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make this like a square. Like uh, he's passing through it. Really horrible square. So I'll make this go off frame. And let's do, bad part about it this is you can't really see your character right now <laughs> which is okay we can we can bring him uh, take off the masking and animate and then turn it back on but for this tutorial we're gonna I'm gonna start in frame zero and since my character is walking the skeleton should be walking with him and we're just gonna move that x-ray to pass over the character All right, so let's check that out really quick. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, let's go back so you can see frame by frame. And this is just a really cool technique because like I said, you can um, add this to any of your characters and any time you want to do this, that, that skeleton rig is gonna be right there. Um, you can make it more complex and have it have switch layers and things like that, but uh, this is just a quick, quick way to do it. Um, like I said, Phil, I uh, have to thank him so much because he came up with the idea and provided the skeleton. So um, again, if you're a patron of mine, um, you can expect to get this in an email. Um, and for the rest of you, can, you can make this totally for free by yourself. Um, just go ahead and check out my character creator tutorial again. Um, and then you'll just have to make a skeleton uh, artwork uh, for yourself. You don't necessarily need to even use a skeleton. You can just use it as an x-ray tool and then just show like somebody smuggling something inside their body or something like that. So I hope you uh, like the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.